Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, again, same outfit, same office. Kids are still doing okay with the mother-in-law, so I thought I would power through and get another video done for you guys. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about what my personal goals are with Beachbody coaching. And hopefully the sunlight holds out. Um, it's kind of cloudy out, we'll see. Um, so yes, my personal goals with beach body coaching and what I want to accomplish as a coach. So first and foremost, my reason for starting with beach body was my own personal journey. I wanted to get fit and healthy. Now, when you hear those words fit and healthy, um, you might just think a, of a physical transformation, just losing the baby weight, fitting back into pre-pregnancy clothes. Um, and while that is part of it, it's definitely not my whole journey and what I'm looking to accomplish. Um, I've had a very up and down relationship with food and how I think about eating for as far back as I can remember. Um, a cycle of restricting myself so much throughout the day and then as soon as I would get some time kind of alone or you know with nobody watching I would binge because I would be so hungry and I would just be eating whatever I could find um, you know chocolate chips, peanut butter, crackers, anything I could get my hands on it would just be like, all right, here we go. Um, and then I would feel horribly guilty because it not only was not, um, it wasn't feeding my body good food. So there was that guilt, but there was that whole um, binge and guilt and restrict cycle that just went on for years and years and years, um, especially after my pregnancies. Um, I really felt that, that was the only way to lose weight was just to track every single calorie, make sure I wasn't going over. Um, but what I was missing out on was where those calories were coming from. Um, you know, a calorie is not a calorie. If you're eating 2,000 calories of pizza a day versus if you're eating 2,000 calories of lean meat, healthy fats, healthy carbs, while your weight might go down on both those diets, internally your body is not going to be the same. Your cells are being reproduced from what you are putting into your body. So if you are feeding a junk, your cells that are being reproduced are going to be made of junk. Your body is gonna be sore, tired, you're gonna have inflammation, you're gonna have poor skin, poor digestion. Um, and that's just not what I wanted for myself anymore. Um, I wanted to be a healthy mom. I've got five babies to take care of. I have a husband, I'm only 31. Um, I don't wanna be you know, in my 30s and complaining of, oh, I've got a bad back, oh, I've got bad knees, oh, you know, I can't do this because of my health. I wasn't accepting that um, and I just wasn't gonna let it happen. So that is my biggest goal is just to change my mindset on food um, and change what my ideal picture of health and fitness really is. So a big part of that is mindset. So again, that goes back to seeing food as um, not good foods or bad foods, but just food and making better choices on what is gonna fuel my body properly. Doesn't mean I don't eat pizza, doesn't mean I don't have a glass of wine or a bit of you know cake or ice cream when I go out, but it's not my staples anymore. Um, you know, I don't need to have a glass of wine every night after my kids go to bed. I don't need to have pizza once a week because it's an easy meal. Throwing chicken in the crock pot is just as easy as throwing in you know, a frozen pizza. It's gonna fuel me up, it's gonna fill me up, and it's gonna make my body a lot happy, happier and healthier. Um, my next goal is, you know, it's a pretty typical one, but it's financial freedom. Um, we have a line of credit that we would like to pay off. We have um, a little bit on our credit cards that we would like to pay off. And while Larry's income is more than enough to cover all of that for us, I would love to be able to pay it off faster. Who wants to have debt linger around um, when you could pay it off faster? So my big goal is to be able to bring in my income that I was making um, before I had kids as a preschool teacher and make that as a beach body coach to just power through our debt and then start saving. Saving for a few different things. Our big thing is a trip to Disney World. Um, both Larry and I had the chance to go to Disney World. Um, I went twice as a kiddo. I think Larry went once or maybe twice, but definitely once. Um, and we would love to take our boys um, to Disney World um, with five kids, two adults. Um, it's not a cheap trip, you know, even for your typical family of four, add on extra kiddos plus flying and either if we rent a house or a hotel, um, food costs, it's not going to be a cheap trip, um, but it's going to be a trip where a lot of memories are made for our family. So that is something that I would 
love to be able to pay for on my own with my income from Beachbody and coaching. Um, next on top of that is we would love to move. Um, we have been in this house since just before Noah turned one. So that would have been uh, November 2009 we moved here. Um, we've had four of our babies born since then. Three of them have been born in this house. Um, but we're, we're getting tight on space. Uh, while we do have this room down here um, that you know could easily be used as a fourth bedroom, um, we would lose out on having a specific office space for myself and for Larry, um, and it would really hinder Larry's ability to work from home on the days where I need to do um, appointments for myself or the kids, or where I need to step out, um, you know, for doula work or anything like that. He doesn't have a defined space for work. Um, so really we need to keep this as an office. We've also had um, neighbor issues. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave it at that, but we are clearly the black sheep of the street, um, whether it be because we're Christian or because we homeschool or because we are a larger family. Um, it's just becoming more and more apparent as the days and weeks go on that uh, this street is no longer a good fit for us. So we are looking to move um, further into the country, if you will. We are in the suburbs right now, but we are kind of in um, a country-ish type area. So um, just moving up the hill a little bit, getting more land for our kids to run around, for our dog to run around, um, and you know, not having neighbors right beside us would be awesome. <laughs> we would really love it if we kind of had to drive a little bit down the street to see a neighbor and um, really be able to just look out our window and kind of see farmland and green grass. Well, I don't even know if anything's green right now. It hasn't rained in like a month and a half, but that's our dream is <laughs> just a nice big farmhouse full of our family. Um, and yeah, no neighbors to worry about. My next biggest goal, and this is something that has been on my heart um, probably since I was a little girl and it's just becoming more and more apparent that I think this is where the Lord is really leading me. Um, and it's really not even something that I've talked to Larry all that much about, um, but it's just something that I feel that is on my heart that the Lord is leading me towards is adoption. Um, I don't know where we would adopt from. I don't know if we would do domestic adoption. I don't know if we would foster to adopt. I don't know if we would do international adoption. Um, but since Gideon has been born, I don't feel as though we are done having children, but I also don't feel like I will be pregnant again things can change. I know that um, the Lord can lead us in many different ways and change our path at any given time that he sees fit. Um, but right now, I just feel like that is where he is leading us um, to complete our family. It really doesn't matter, boy, girl, um, you know, anything. We are open. Well, I'm open. I don't know where Larry's head is at, at this point on this right now. Um, but it really, it doesn't matter to me. My ideal, if it was up to me to choose, um, I would probably go over to overseas to one of the Scandinavian countries um, and adopt um, children with Down syndrome. That would be my absolute dream. And it really doesn't matter, boy or girl. Um, you would think after having five boys that I would want a daughter. And as much as I feel like a daughter would be awesome, I... I feel like I'm just meant to be a boy mom and I'm okay with that for for a little while I thought I was missing out on something or that um, I don't know I don't really know I just felt like maybe I was missing out by not having a daughter um, and I just feel like the more I think about it I just I I don't know I don't see myself with a daughter I really don't I think I'm gonna have amazing daughter-in-laws and um, who knows, Larry's sister is pregnant right now. Maybe I'll have um, a cute little niece to love on um, and all that. But for right now, my boys are all I need. So yes, that is my biggest end game goal is to be able to fund an adoption overseas um, and just bring more babies home into our family. So those are my top goals with coaching. Um, yeah, and thanks guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later.